thanks so much for clicking on this video. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. If you are returning, please know how grateful I am that you're here and supporting my videos. And if you're new, hi, my name is Tina. I make weekly homemaking and cleaning videos to help motivate you to get it all done. And I hope you'll stick around, subscribe, and if you like this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and say hi in the comments. Today's video is going to be just getting things done around the house and doing some things that have been getting put off for way too long. So we're starting out in the living room. In my last video, I set up James's new play mat, but I didn't get to tuck it underneath the couch. So today I'm just moving the couch, giving it a nice clean underneath, and then getting the new mat under there. And I'll definitely be moving the couch out completely and doing a deep clean underneath there soon, but I'll share that in a deep clean video this month. Also, I just wanted to say, this video took place in a few different days. I'm definitely not trying to make anyone think that you need to get everything done in one day. I know for me, with work and having James, it is quite impossible to get everything done in one straight time frame. So just do what you can, when you can, and give yourself some grace. Because I know it may feel overwhelming, like you have too many tasks that you need to get done, but I just highly recommend maybe making yourself a checklist of absolutely everything you need to get done and check them off one by one. Even if the task is only a quick two minute task, get it done when you have those two minutes and then check it off and it will leave you feeling satisfied and motivated to keep going. Eight oh eight p.m. And we're gonna fix this. Actually, this is gonna be a voiceover, so it doesn't matter what you say. It'll <laughs> do the thing. Thank you. Uh, there's a molding in the way, so Tina said so we should cut it. So we'll do that. That's next. I didn't just say we should cut it. You did not say that we shouldn't cut it. There's a gap. It's too much of a gap. Yes, yeah, too much of a gap. We tried to not cut it when we put it up, but James can crawl under it, and that's what he did all day today. Yeah, he guessed that. Yes. So far so good with the gate James hasn't gotten under. I want to update you on my gift wrapping organizer. It's on this over the door hook now because it completely fell down that night. So I just put it on there for now. And I also wanted to share this new dog bed that I got. So this brand Bedshore, I have gotten a duvet cover from them and actually a comforter set from them as well. And they both were really good quality, so I wanted to try out their dog beds because they were on sale. This is, I believe, the 36 inch one, um, and it was $26, I believe. All the colors were different prices, but I decided to get black because I figured even if I wash my dog beds, let's say I wash them once a week, they are stained like immediately that I cannot help it. The dogs just get them stained. So I'd rather the stains just not show. And I also need one that is easy to get in and out like this one, because I, you're going to see in a minute, the one that I bought two of them from target right there. They're on the ground and they're very nice looking, but they're so hard to put back together because the inside you see the little round circles like you have to put it in a certain way for them to go back like that again and it's just too much I can't do it 
So now I'm just upstairs and I'm finally getting these picture frames together. I am not joking. I bought these frames about a couple months, not even, I don't think, right when we moved into this house because I had a bunch of gift cards from Christmas. It was probably like a month or maybe two months after we moved in. And I had a bunch of gift cards and I bought two sets of these four by four frames and I kept putting off hanging them up because I didn't know where they were going. They were going to go in the living room and then it took me forever because I needed to print pictures. And then this is way before James and then I had James and then they've just been moving around this house, sitting on the floor, room to room for actual years. So I finally got pictures printed out. It's kind of like a James shrine because <laughs> it's all pictures of him with with various family members so I'm just getting that all together and we're finally going to put them up tonight I bought these lights on Amazon to go over them so I'm excited to finally get that done about to leave already packing come with me I'm not really asking we'll get away to a place where we don't know About to see The world in action It actually took me so long to do this Like definitely over an hour And unfortunately They all started falling down Because I don't know if you saw But they came with these little 3M command strip type things I put them on all of them And and I don't know just like one by one they would they would start falling so I ended up taking them all down and we redid it it was the next day that we redid it and Bobby hung them up with nails for me which is better anyway but and also because look at my spacing it just it didn't look great so I it was better that he did it for me it came out looking way better and then the next day I just started stripping the bed getting my bed sheets into the wash and I actually decided to take off the mattress protector I don't think I'm going to use it anymore it's just really hard to get on and off honestly and the only reason I even got it to begin with was be when I was pregnant I was scared that my water was going to break and I was going to get all over the bed that was initially why we got it I mean we really don't eat or drink in our bed so I just don't think I'm going to put it back on well not I don't think I didn't <laughs> I didn't put it back on so we were going out this day so I wanted to get this done early so I could put some baking soda on the mattress and let it sit so I did all that I vacuumed the bed I put the baking soda on and then when we got back home I vacuumed it up and I actually sprayed it with some Lysol and I had our bed nice and clean for to put our sheets on later that night So we have a blank wall behind me. After I hung all of them up last night, they started falling down one by one. So I just took them all down so they didn't break. And Bobby's gonna hang them up with nails for me. Poor Bobby. So I guess those command strips that it came with did not work very well. That's true dedication.
taking her out. I can't believe it's the same photo. It is kind of weird. I'm freaked out. In the same photo? <laughs> the third time? That is weird. And you know what they say. Husbands are like picture frames. Three times? Throw them down soon. It's like an omen. Great. What am I supposed to do about that? Something's going on here. This picture that just shot off the wall <laughs> is the same one. Yeah, is there an orb in the background of that picture? That has fallen and broken two other times. What? Is there an orb in the back of that picture? The freaking better not be. I'm telling you, I, I think this house is haunted. Now this is the third time I need to super glue the same frame. And it's not falling because the frame is messed up. It's so falling. Do you, do you want the super glue to Due to supernatural <laughs> super abilities. <laughs> this is the frame of our family. This is the only family one of us on it. Wait until I tell my mom. She's going to be like, yeah, ghost town. If I rewatch this video and I see an orb ghost pushing this. Ghost town, I have to go hunt for glass now. I really, really hope that you're not cheating on me because... Listen, if I was cheating on you and somehow you found out because of a ghost, man, I'd be bad. Babe, your ass is hanging out. <laughs> Pull your pants up or get a butt. I'm coming out with apologies. Holding back, I got history. Yeah, yeah. But the way you've been crossing the line, oh, it's something in me that says it's fine. Hoping you wouldn't change me. Got the same old thoughts, be my referee. I will be alright. Never cut it right. But somehow you make me change. Like I'm better So I think it turned out really great. We actually decided not to put those lights up just yet. I'm just unsure if I want to use them. There, I have three of those little ones like you saw. I just don't know how it looks. I might either get something different or just leave it the way it is, but we'll see. So I'm just making up the bed. I'm not really making it, I'm just putting it on nice, you know, because it's almost bedtime. And I'm going to find something good to watch on TV while I sit in bed and fold my clothes before I take a shower and go to sleep. But that is it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. And if you did, I hope you'll subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye, guys.